Everybody one step <laughs> uh, Not contagious. Uh, uh, 28 or 29. Uh, it was 28 right before lunch, but then a couple came in. So we took 28. That's pretty compared to the last one. Yeah, yeah. We had, uh, we had just as many teams. Didn't have quite as many people because of uh, the position work in the last year. We had a first round or two, and we had a massive talent as he was a quarterback. We had a very productive day today. Very productive. pretty happy. Yeah, Jerome improved on everything, which, uh, you know, we kind of knew he would. There was, a, there was a couple ways to fix what he had that went wrong. Uh, Rashard Anderson really put up some very good numbers today. He did well for himself. Uh, Marquis Sproul, uh, you know, probably should have been a combine guy. But then with 96 underclassmen coming out this year, it kind of changed the numbers. So he, he lit it up today. He had a very good day. And Jason Bromley improved on everything he did in the combine. He had a big combine anyway. Uh, Mackie McPherson did well today, and he snapped. But, you know, he was a long snapper plus as a true freshman, and they didn't realize that he could long snap also. So he really helped himself with that situation today. So, uh, you know, for the most part, all of our guys did well. You know, they worked out well in Coker as a fullback also, besides a linebacker. Uh, they worked out Beckett well, so, you know, most of our guys did well. Was there any GMs here? No GMs. Um, we had a pro personnel director, who, the actual former player, Quentin Harris, who played for us here, was a team captain, was the, the director of pro personnel for the Cardinals. So uh, when Pro Day came up, he picked Syracuse to come to it. And any time you get directors here, they have a lot of influence. So it was a good day for that. Outside of the guys that were at the combine, you, you mentioned you know Mackey and, and what he was doing, and Richard as well, and Marquise. How have they kind of elevated themselves through a day like today? Uh, putting up numbers comparable, if not better, than the guys at their positions did at the combine. And then they did all the position work. And, um, you know, everything is videoed and it's shared to the NFL data center and sent to every team. So, you know, there's three hours worth of video here for the day from what we did. And we did everything from, you know, every measurement, arm length, wingspan, hand size, vertical jump, bench press, uh, three cone, short shoulder, ver- you know, broad jump. Uh, in every position work. So it's a long, exhausting day for the kids, but they had a lot of fun doing it. All the kids say that they give all the respect to you and, and a lot of credit to you. How do you kind of respond to that, that no matter what position they're saying, if they get somewhere, it had a lot to do with what you've taught them? Um, well, I think that's very nice of them to start with. I'm not sure how much I have to do with it. Um, I just The way I've always looked at it is they, they gave me four or five years of playing here, so i got to give them a couple months of getting them ready for their next step in, in life. And as a football player, your next step is what you do at the next level. And after that, your step is use your Syracuse education to take you further. But uh, it, it's it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, for me, I get a chance to know them in a little different way. You know, now they're, they're done playing, so they're not going to play for us anymore. So the kind of coach-player relationship changes a little bit. And we spend so much time together. I mean, we spend two hours a day, five days a week, training just for this day and have been ever since we got back from the bowl game. So, uh, and then... You know, I've been doing it long enough and got a lot of people I know in the NFL. I kind of got an inside track, I guess, so to speak, on knowing who needs to get better at this and who needs to perform well at that. So I can kind of steer them in the right direction to give them the best opportunity. The 40-yard dash is probably one of the most looked-at numbers coming out of the combine. Jerome didn't have the greatest numbers.